More, to, more than a thousand migrant children are currently being housed in LA County, most of them at the convention center in Long Beach. CBS 2's Joy Benedict talked with a lawyer about how these kids are doing just a couple of weeks in. It's hard to tell from the outside, but living inside the Long Beach Convention Center is now 800 children. It's an alarming number considering it's only been open for 16 days. That place was sitting empty. And now it has a purpose. Those living in the neighborhood say they haven't noticed anything, but they aren't supposed to. I wish the kids could get out during the day and like go to the Queen Mary or take a walk by the waterfront. It's got to be kind of boring in there, but at least they're not in cages. They have things to do. They're getting educated. So I'm all good with that. This week, more than 22,000 unaccompanied migrant children are in the custody of the Department of Health and Human Services as the federal government scrambles to remove minors from the overcrowded Border Patrol facilities to places more suited for children alone seeking asylum. Between Long Beach and Pomona, there are now almost 1,100 children housed in shelters in Los Angeles County. They fled because they were afraid for their lives. Lindsay Tozlowski is an attorney and co-founder of Immigrant Defenders Law Center. Her firm is representing all the children in the Long Beach and Pomona facilities. Yes, it is a huge number of kids. It's overwhelming when you see that many kids. Are they happier in the shelter? Without a doubt, every single kid I talk to, we ask, you know, how how are things in Customs and Border Protection custody? Um, and they tell us about sleeping on the floor and being in overcrowded conditions. And we say, how are things here? And they all say good. The purpose of these shelters is to get all these children in the care of family members or sponsors already in the United States. But Tozlowski says the process isn't always easy. The process does take a long time, but it's also important that there is a focused process that looks at child welfare issues, making sure that we are not, um, you know, sending children into situations that involve trafficking, um, sending them into forced labor situations. Right now, the federal government is averaging 30 days for reunification. But Tozlowski says that's better than last year's average of 102 days. And she says it's her job to make sure these children are armed with the information they need to get through the shelter and hopefully home in a new country. What they really hope is that they can be safe um, and that they can have a, a better life. The Long Beach shelter is scheduled to close on August the 2nd because the convention center has events already scheduled in the fall. As for the Pomona Fairplex, that facility is scheduled to stay open through the end of the year. From Long Beach, I'm Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.